Welcome back. You're watching this this morning on Channels Television. We're talking commodities now. Let's take a look at uh, the burning issues and, of course, how it's affecting the regular commodities that you buy. That's talking about rice, uh, flour, some cases, and, of course, the finished products for flour. I'm talking about bread. That's a very naughty issue at the moment that's got a lot of people worried. Usual, uh, of course, if you go to the bakery these days, you find out that uh, your regular loaf of bread has increased by over 50%, in some cases 100%, and a lot of people are worried. So we're looking at the burning economic issues and how it's affecting, of course, commodities markets, uh, commodities and other products uh, that we track for you on the program. I've got here with me Ada Akonubi, who is an economic research analyst with Financial Derivatives Company. Good morning to you, Ada. Thank you so much for joining me on the program. Good morning, Harriet. So taking a look at... um, you know the survey that you know FTC sent in. Union bakers says the prices of baked, you know, uh, baked products like bread and for some people cookies will jump by 15 percent. And they also say consumers should expect a reduction in the size of bread and other pastries. What are the key factors that have actually been cited for this? So the main reason behind this um, anticipated hike in most pastry products is still for scarcity. And we know that most of these um, input costs are, most of them are not even eligible for um, trade at the inter- um, they are part of the 41 items um, banned from accessing interbank rates, so they have to source for this at the parallel market, which is, which you know is about 450. I mean, it's appreciated now from 417 to about 455, um, which is a good news. But then, how long would that be sustained? I uh, say so what we're having now is um, there has been increased cost. A price of sugar has gone up from uh, 17,000 to about 20,000 naira now. A price of margarine has actually skyrocketed from about 5,000 uh, earlier in the year to about 12,000. Ice in sugar. Flour for some reason has remained, I mean, the price of flour hasn't gone as high. F- price of flour is about 10,005 to about 12,000 an hour now. And the uh, salt and most components, and uh, I mean eggs as well. A-, a crate of egg is now 900 an hour from 7.5. So people ask, okay, eggs are not imported. Why is why, why are eggs going high? But then they forget to understand that um, there's going to be high cost of import uh, feeds. So you have to, you know, feed uh, the chickens. You have to, well, the cost of maintaining the chickens now are quite expensive. So you have to increase the price of eggs. So um, that is what is affecting most bakers as it is. And then you have the consumers are really fighting and resisting this price increase. But then you see, this, you know, this makes a lot of people wonder that the central bank says, you know, they will fund the 60-day forward sales of agriculture, aviation machinery. So... We have agriculture getting the largest percentage of about 65% of their requests that will be met at the CBN, yes. at the Interbank Foreign Exchange Market. Don't you think that this might ease that FX pressure that you talked about? Well, most, most manufacturers as it is now, they say that that is just, they haven't seen, this is just... They, they are not seeing the effect of that yet, so they are not actually still getting forex as the CBN has promised. Uh, and we, the problem is that there's still a lot of forex scarcity and there's increasing demand and supply isn't meeting in demand until that is sorted out. We are still going to have this um, volatility and you know higher uh, cost of importing items. So manufacturers are still complaining, no access to forex. Um, you know, guys in the major guys in the industry are actually it's, it's biting really hard, and uh, you know like. Like I was saying earlier, consumers are really resisting the price increase because most of them are out of the job working force. And then now these manufacturers or bakers have to, you know, they're in between, do I increase the cost of buying? Do I increase the cost of producing bread or do I reduce the quantity? So what consumers now are actually focusing on, they don't care about the qu- they don't care about quality anymore. They are looking about they are looking at quantity. So do you know what? If you're going to increase your price, I will go to someone else who has, you know, lower price because I have to Disposable income is, you know, is lower. There's really low purchasing power. So it's just, it's man- producers, consumers, and bakers are in the limbo right now. Now, but rice is also a very naughty issue. A so 50 kg bag is at a historic high of about 20,000 naira. Any indication that this price level would probably taper off before the year and towards the holiday season? So, well, during the holiday season, uh, most uh, traders are already factoring in Christmas sales. So what they're doing now, part of the increase in prices are due to anticipated, you know, purchase 
higher purchase uh, cause, uh, because of the Christmas season. So I don't see prices tapering down. Prices are actually going to get worse. So what most um, bakers or you know most uh, players in the industry are doing now, they're actually stocking up. Although they don't have as much money, they're anticipating a further increase. So they're increasing their demand right now. So they don't have to you know um, pay f about 50 percent. And if you notice, the price increase has been not hundreds thousands mm -hmm. so if your price is increasing from 18,000 19,000 20,000 it is it is it is quite worrisome so in terms of other consumer goods like beverages how are the shelf prices trending at the moment still quite high um, for example sugar in the international market is really high because of the uh, constraints in India and Brazil which are the two major producers so coupled with the fact that the exchange rate is about 460 high international prices high um, a weak Naira and um, higher cost of importing and you know clearing cl clearing duties, so that's why we have sugar prices high. And all these are uh, import import di all these are components for um, producing a, a beverages. So um, prices are high. Any commodity that have that has a, an import content in them are actually trending higher as it is. But uh, commodities that are grown locally, um, like cassava and all of that, and onions and tomatoes and peppers, those one are, uh, they are actually lower because this is harvest season. So um, we are not seeing any. Yeah, you would have it season, you know, things would be a little better, you know, it would be a little easier. And so you don't have to go to the market every day. Why don't you even go to the farm and buy straight from source? But then that's also another issue. But we don't, we don't, we don't create, uh, we don't produce as much as uh, we need. So there are some commodities that we grow in excess and there's some that we must depend on the interna international market for. I know major players in the industry have, there's been a long-term plan to be able for us to reach uh, self-sufficiency in sugar production, weeds and corn, uh, but this would take f is, is a three-year, four-year plan. So 2018, we should see, you know, we shouldn't depend on importing um, wheat, sugar and corn for our, our local manufacturing. And do you think we started out on that, on that path to ensure that we don't have uh, so much bills to pay in terms of, because imported food inflation index continues to rise. You take yes. a look at the inflation numbers that are coming from the National Bureau of Statistics. It shows that our you know, appetite for imported foods is not depreciating in terms of what we're experiencing in the economy. And so that will continue to rise. It will, it will continue to rise and we can see that is already a affecting the, the, the performance of most FMCG companies because there's ridiculously high cost of you know importing these uh, items but now most of them are looking most of them are sourcing for raw materials internally which is good so there's going to be um, some sort of job creation even in the um, economy as it is uh, but for now we will, will I'll, I'll be honest with you we will see an increase in the price of most imported items until we have um, a stabilization in the exchange rate. All right. Ada, thank you so much for joining me on the program. Thanks for uh, shedding more light on those numbers that you folks at Financial Derivatives constantly uh, churn out with regards to commodities. Thank you.